And today we're going to go over what a model selector is in NADN with the new model selector node. Now we can add these to our AI agents. It will allow us to choose from different LLMs here. First thing we're going to need to do is add in a cat trigger AI agent, and we will connect the two. If we type something into our AI agent, says a chat model sub node must be connected and enabled this is what you would do prior you would have a chat model connected to your ai agent but now what we can do is use that model selector instead add in our model selector and we're going to add in three inputs and what these three inputs will be are three different models we'll go 4.1 mini go gpt 4.0 3.5 turbo sure we're going to go into our model selector and add in a few different rules we're going to change this over to contains which will be inside of a string if our chat input here if our chat input contains the word twitter you're going to use model number one if our chat input contains the word blog we're going to use model number two let's see what it gives us i'm asking it to write me a blog about crypto today we're using the model select content agent to the model selector and through to gpt 4.0 there we go navigating the dynamic world of cryptocurrency in 25 and it outputs a blog post when we type in linkedin it's going to use model number three and that is google gemini writes me a linkedin post about my ai agency it is using the content agent to the model selector and now using gemini 2.5 flash ready to truly leverage ai in your business there is a linkedin post for my ai agency the model selector is great instead of having access to only one like gpt or perplexity we have access to all three of these for different tasks that we want our agent to complete